Hello, this is Cryptic Mac Genius, and today I am going to show you how to set up an iChat account and how to use it slightly until I get Lloyd added to my account so I can show you more. Um, today's video is, as I said, mentioned Lloyd, is uh, thankfully suggested by Lloyd or Apple. E. Ed on YouTube. Um, we are hoping to get some more tutorials put out so we can help more people. I originally started this channel to help my grandmother because for years she drove me nuts using a Windows computer and called almost every day. She got her Mac. She hasn't called me in the last six months or more to ask any questions about it and she's had it now for almost a year and a half so I may originally started these tutorials for her and to help other people because I didn't figure I'd get many views but apparently Mac tutorials are really needed anyways back to today's tutorial so I went ahead and opened up iChat and this is what you'd see for the first time ever opening it without uh, any screen names or anything being in it. Um, for the first time you boot up your computer or what have you, fresh install. It'll be the fifth icon on your dock most likely. I mean every fresh install I've done it's been the fifth icon but that's for the last two OS's so it may change or it may vary just slightly but anyways go ahead and open it up here and this is what you're greeted with for the first time so you go ahead and hit continue and you have several accounts you can use if you already have a Gmail account you can use your Google Talk um, Jabber is used for uh, multiple different appli uh, not applications multiple accounts like uh, you can get a Jabber account I think Jabber can be used with Facebook and Gtalk and stuff like that but that's a completely different thing um, Mac or dot Mac accounts you cannot get new accounts but any if you have a old account that you still use you can use it with iChat mobile me same thing they're not free but if you have it you can use it with this program and aim uh, AOL instant messenger it's been around for years a lot of people have it um, I know I have a screen name on here that's at least 10 years old <laughs> but Today is, I'm going to set up a Cryptic Mac Genius account. So we'll go ahead and leave it on AIM and type in my credentials here. Okay. Um, as you see right here, get an iChat account. When you're under the AIM, uh, uh, account type if you click that it'll open up your web browser and take you to the uh, new account page for AIM so you just set up your account credentials there and once you have that set up you come back to this program type in your credentials and hit continue and that's it you can go ahead and hit done and it'll load up your buddy account or your buddy list and I've got my cell phone here standing by so we'll go ahead and send a tech uh, and there we go so when somebody sends you a message that uh, has never sent you a message before you can it'll pop up like this if you click on it it'll display just the message from 
and you can respond to it there or you can hit display to show the message so we'll go ahead and hit, hit display and you can either hit uh, block decline accept and if you respond to them it automatically accepts the account and puts the uh, person into your uh, recent buddies just recent people you've talked to but after you know say it's somebody you know and you want to put them into a sp uh, specific account all you do is hit new or sorry the plus button there and you can add buddy which we've it's already there for me I always make a group for each person like so if I haven't talked to them in a long time and I can't remember what their name was I make the group name their name so in this aspect I'll make it Anthony and then there's the group name Anthony so all you have to do to move people around is click and hold and you can see the outline there just drag it to whatever group you want to put it in let go and there it moved so if I sign out it'll sign me out of that group or sorry if I sign out on my cell phone with that account it'll show Anthony is logged off and to remove uh, groups unused groups just right click on the group and delete group and then just hit delete alright down here uh, you have the A which is for uh, opening up a chat window and then right here the phone icon sorry brain fart uh, is for an audio chat only and then the video icon is for a video chat and then this is the screen sharing uh, button to be able to use these I have to have another Mac sadly I don't have any down here right now I have five others but they're all up my other house anyways um, so to use these you would click on said buddy and then click on whatever icon you want to do with them say they're on a Windows computer and you want to do an audio or video chat you just these won't be grayed out they'll be black like that one and you just click on it and it'll automatically pop up a window to do whichever one it is and then if they're on a Mac you can click the uh, start sharing button which will ask after you click it it'll ask to do you want to share your screen or do you want to ask to share their screen and you click on which one you want to do uh, right here I'll just go ahead and hit that button this uh, tests out your camera so you can see everything's working uh, if you look right there you can see the green lines going up and down that's just to indicate that your mic is working and um, yeah and if it's not showing any green and you know your mic is hooked up or built in but for some reason it isn't showing any green there you can hit preferences and then right here you have line in or your internal mic so you can change it you can change your bandwidth limit so if you're using a very limited speed internet you can s switch it to 100 kilobytes a second so it, it, the video quality is not as good but it still works all right, let's go ahead and close these. Anyways, um, I hope I'm not running out of time. 
So, if I am, I'm going to cut it short real fast. Uh, availability. You can go offline, which signs your account out. Make it invisible, which makes it to where people can't see that you're signed in. Um, you can change your availability at home, reading email, or you can make a custom one. Just click it. Hello. Type whatever you want, hit enter, and then it adds it there. Away, same thing, and uh, that's about all I can think of right this minute, so hopefully I'm not over 10 minutes. Have a good evening, everyone.